sorry there, Mavs. Didn't see you. Good morning, Mavericks. Today is Monday, November 13th, 2017. I'm Josh Epson. And I'm Logan Wildman. These are your morning announcements. Hey, Mavs. Today is World Kindness Day and the start of our first ever Mav Kindness Week. Monday is Do Something Kind for Someone Else to celebrate World Kindness Day. Attention all football players, we'll be doing gear check-in check in this week on Wednesday and Thursday, immediately after school. Freshmen and sophomores will check in their gear on Wednesday. Juniors and seniors will check, on, check in their gear on Thursday. Please wash your uniform and be prepared to turn in all of your gear. Fine cards will be issued for anyone that does not turn in their gear. Please do not make Coach Benedict hunt you down. Sorry, Mavs. The internet was down Friday and Veterans Day was Saturday. Please take a moment to remember our veterans with a video we have prepared for you on Friday. Veterans Day to me is a, an opportunity to reflect on and acknowledge all those that have served our country. Think back on the past. Veterans Day was started. Uh, actually, its connections go to World War I, but it wasn't called Veterans Day until after World War II. And to me, I get to be a part of that brotherhood that has volunteered to serve our country. And it's, it's kind of, it's unique. Every time you, uh, you meet somebody who is prior military, you have an, an instant connection with them. So I'm proud to be, to be a veteran. Uh, my name is Ashley Dillon, and I was an explosive expert. I built bombs, missiles, and rockets for aircraft. Uh, so Veterans Day means to me a time when we can actually come together and place value on those people that have given the ultimate time, the ultimate sacrifice um, to protect their country um, and the ones that they love from wars past and present and it doesn't even need to be at a time of war. Um, people are there to defend our nation as a whole and you know that's that's the ultimate time you can give to your country. I was uh, a sheet metal uh, guy, I worked on the jets, mechanic essentially, and uh, even fixed the broken jets, painted the ones that were ugly. Uh, had a good time. Learned a lot. Um, in the Army, I was a Russian interrogator. I fluently spoke Russian, and I dealt with Spetsnaz, which in Russian is Spetsyalnaya Nazdegenia, which is the Russian Special Forces. Um, we helped them immigrate over to the United States. We pulled them off to the side and interrogated them uh, for military knowledge of what was going on in the Russian military. Um, I did that for two and a half years and I, had, I was exceptional at it. I was the sweet little blonde girl they wanted to talk to, so, and it got them over to America. It was a phenomenal job. I loved doing every minute of it. Veterans Day is a chance to acknowledge those who have volunteered to serve. We're one of the few countries that has an all-volunteer force, so it's a good opportunity to acknowledge those that made that volunteer choice. The flag represents uh, America as a whole united coming together, which we do rarely anymore these days. Uh, Veterans Day is one of those times where people don't bicker and quibble about um, this political party, that political party. They come together to honor those people that have served. So the flag represents that, as does the eagle, the Statue of Liberty. We have so many symbols that represent Americans coming together for one common purpose. I've had the uh, pleasure of traveling abroad, uh, both on Uncle Sam and on my own, and this is by far the greatest country in the world. And so I'm, I'm just proud to be an American, and I'm, I'm so grateful to have been born here and to continue to be able to live here. Um, I chose to enlist when I was a senior in high school um, because I needed the money for college, if I wanted to be completely honest with you. Um, I took the ASVAB test to get out of the geometry test. Um, and I did well, so recruiters came after me and it was a way for me to pay for college and I was lucky enough to get to choose the job that I wanted. I got to be in military intelligence, which is not always an oxymoron, um, and I got to serve my country in the best way I knew how during the Cold War when the Russians were the biggest threat. I was an 18-year-old kid who wasn't ready for college and uh, had to get out of the current situation I was in and the Air Force provided me an opportunity to learn a skill to save some money for school and ultimately uh, help me to grow up. Um, I served for the opportunity. 
Um, I grew up poor and I grew up in a town in a state that didn't have a lot to offer after high school. And honestly, I wasn't the best student. So the military gave me a chance to learn skills and travel and go to college. Veterans Day, like I said earlier, is a chance to uh, recognize the sacrifice that our men and women who put on the uniform for many years uh, gave to this, to this country and continue to give. I'm proud of them. I'm proud to be one. That was, a, that was a great video. Yes, it was. Thank you for your service, veterans. There will be a DECA meeting this Wednesday, the 15th. All members, please attend. All cross-country runners need to get $5 for coaches' gifts to one of the captains by the end of this week. Registration for IDLA trimen, trimesters second will be available during lunch this week in the Career Center. Bring your signed pre-registration paperwork. This session starts November 27th. Bafs tonight is Tuesday, November 14th from 6 to 8. The first 45 minutes will be a guest speaker in the auditorium talking about FAFSA and the financial aid. After that, we will be doing a FAFSA completion night in the computer lab. Please start your FAFSA ahead of time and bring specific questions to the completion night. FAFSA application can be found at FAFSA.org. See Ms. Walton in the Career Center with questions. The Meridian FFA chapter meeting is 6.30 tonight here in the auditorium at Mountain View. If you are participating in creed speaking, you will need to be here for preliminaries at 4.50. That's all for your morning announcements, Mavs. If you have any more, please send them to cable14 at hotmail.com before first period. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America.